Hello dear viewers, welcome back to Cybrosis. So today let's see how to create and how to publish a blog. You know what a blog is, right? It's an article which can be a useful one, okay? So inside the website module of Odoo 17, you have a menu called blog. So using this blog menu, you can easily create and publish blogs, which is a helpful article for the public, okay? So using this, you can create, that is using Odoo, you can create, format and publish your blogs. So let's see how the procedure is done. So now let me show you how to create and publish a blog in Odoo 17 website. For that, I'm opening the website module. So before going to configuration and creating a blog, let me go to the blog inside the website and show you. So this is the blog here. You can see blogs which have the categories like all, travel and astronomy. So if I choose travel, only the blogs which are related to travel will come there. And if I choose astronomy, only the blogs which are related to astronomy will be there. Similarly, I'm going to create a new one that is a new blog. For that, I'm going to configuration. Here you have blogs. Click on that and I'm going to add a new one. So let the name of my blog be education. And here you have a blog subtitle. So I'm putting it as this is an informative blog. Okay. So here you have the option to choose the website. Okay. So this is actually to restrict publishing to this website. So once you choose a website, the publishing will be restricted to that website. So I'm saving it. I'm not specifying any website so that it will be available in both. I mean, in every website. Okay. So here I'm going to the site and let's open the home page. So inside the home page, you can find this blog. So I'm opening that and here we have education, which we've created. So education was the name of the blog, which I've given. And this is the blog title, right? So this is an informative blog. Now if I, I feel like this place is, I mean, this page is so blank. So I just want to edit it. How will you edit it? Here you have the edit icon on the top right corner. Click on that. So this can actually help you to edit it. Okay. So here under the blogs, you have so much blogs, customize themes and all. So let me open customize. And if I choose this, that is, if I click on the uh, header section, this will show me the cover. So that's the cover section where you can see the current ba background. So if you want to change the color, that is possible over here. See, you can change the color. So I don't want a color. I desire to keep a picture as the cover. So here you can choose for an image. So let me choose for education. Okay, so this is what I've searched for and the similar pictures, that is the pictures which is related to that will come here. So I think I'll choose this picture. So I'm choosing that one. So right now it has become a cover picture or the background for the cover which you give it, I mean, which you've created. Okay, so from here, if you want, you can change the name. Okay, so I'm putting it as education itself. So all such things can be done from here. Okay. So that's how you do it. Now here, if you just drag down, you can see no blog post yet. So yes, we have created a blog. We've given a name, background or not. So there are no blog posts which are created till this time. So how will you create a blog post? So it's really simple. Just go to the top right corner. There you have this new button. Click on new and on the new, you have this blog post. So I'm going to click on this blog post and it will be asking you to select the blog. So you have to choose the blog under which you are creating a post. So I'm going to create it under the blog education, which I've created. And here you can give the title of the blog. So I'm giving the title as, sorry, why choose Odo. Oh, Okay, so that's the name of the blog which I've created and I'm saving it. So that will be taking you to the blog post which you created. Now here comes the editing or the, you know, creation of the blog post. So this also looks very blank. So you can make your blog really attractive by using the edit, I mean the edit option, which is provided by Odoo 17. So here also I'm going to add a background image. So I'm going to add something like learning or 
whatever it is let's search and see okay so here are some pictures let's search for something else institution or something and i think this picture will do so let's choose this one and why I chose Odoo and if you want you can add a subtitle so I'm adding the subtitle as Odoo ERP and from here you can start writing your blog okay so this is done and next comes the body of the blog so here I'm writing something so this blog is all about the ERP Odoo. Okay. So that's what I've given. Now if you just go to this blog. Okay. If you choose this text and if you want this to be bold or something like that, you can, you know, see that here. So I can make it bold. Select this. I'm making it bold. Or if you want to make it italic, you can do that. Underline it. Strike it. And then you have the option to change the font color. You can change the background color. So um, it's currently white, right? So you can change it from here. Okay. So I'm just removing all these and keeping it as bold. Now if you want to animate this text. Okay. Or you can generate or transform content with AI. So using this AI also you can generate content. So I'm using that. So which will actually show you, you know, different ways of writing the same thing. Okay. Mine is just a plain text. So using AI, I have created a new thing. So, you know, you in Odoo also, we can use this AI copywriter. Okay. So if you want to correct it, shorten it, lengthen it, friendly, professional or persuasive, whatever your need is, you can, you know, tell it to the AI and it will be giving you a result in back. So I think... This website focuses on ERP software Odoo or explore the world of Odoo with this blog. So if you are shortening, it means it will give you such a result. So discover Odoo ERP in this blog. If you want to lengthen it, you can lengthen it from here. So you know how to use an AI, right? So I'll choose a lengthened one. Okay, so you have so much things over here. Deliver into the comprehensive features and functionalities of ERP system Odoo through the content of this blog. So I'm going to change it and insert this thing. Okay, so I've given a small text and using AI, I have modified it. Okay, so that's a very good feature which Odoo has come up with. Okay, now, yeah, I mean, even if you give further contents also, AI can do this. Okay, so I'll do one thing. I'll show you now how to use this blogs. Here you have blogs, right? Okay. So using this blobs, you can add, I mean, drag and drop anything. And for, for that, you can add contents. So if I'm choosing this cover, okay, I'm choosing the cover over here. So you can add a catchy headline here. And you can add the contents here. Okay, so I'll just add some content over here. I'm just removing all these. Let me put this as the heading. We'll let that be the heading. See, I'm, I've added one thing here. Okay. Now here you have this contact us. So this will actually take you to this contact us my website, which is for Odo itself. Now, if you want to change that, that can be done from here. So using slash, you can add a different page or using this hash, you can link it to an anchor. Okay. So that's how you do it. Now, if I'm adding or just choosing this text. And I'm choosing AI, that is generate text with AI. AI will help me to generate text regarding that. So if you just send a message to AI, so I'm telling like, tell me something about Odoo. See, this is what I'm giving and I'm just sending this. So the Odoo board will be giving me some content. Now I can insert it, right? So I'll just copy it. And I'm closing it, okay? So after that, you can add it. So if I'm going to add a new 
block over here just see this is what I'm adding and I'm creating it over here now if you want a subtitle for this okay here also you can add I mean help AI help I mean you can take the help of AI okay so there is already a subtitle given there so I'll just change it to do the complete solution now after that I'm just going to the AI and telling it to transform it so it will be generating text with AI which actually helped me to change it so using these features that is this AI and all you can actually get a better blog okay so your language barriers or your grammar mistakes everything will be fixed by this AI so if you just have any hint or any particular topic or a small thing in your mind using that you can expand it into a big you know content so for that I'm just choosing this so AI is giving me so much you know options so I've added one and once you're okay or once you're satisfied with your blog you can simply save it so this is what I'm giving and I've saved it now if you go to the blog section so you can see education which is created by you so this is still unpublished we'll publish it so sorry before going to that if you open education you can see the cover picture you can see the heading and the content is also seen here so only a little part you can read okay so once it's done you can open it and from here you can see okay so this is the content of the blog which you have created okay now I'm going to publish it so this is right now this is unpublished simply do that and this is published okay so the public publishing is also done now if you go to blogs and check on education you can see this and also under the section all you can find the blog which you have created okay so it comes under education the heading is there the body is there everything is crystal clear here in the blog so this is how you can easily create a blog using Odoo and Odoo is making it pretty much easier by using the help of AI so I hope now you guys know how to create and publish a blog in Odoo 17 so that's all for today's video thank you so much for watching see you in the next video